morning, Gophers. Welcome back to San Antonio. I'm Miss Anderson, your principal. It is October 11th. It's Tuesday, terrific Tuesday, and we are going to have an awesome day today. And I would like to introduce you to our newest teacher. Uh, we have with us today, Miss Young. Miss Young is coming from Hillsborough County. She's uh, been teaching for quite a while, so we are excited to have her with us. Welcome. Hi, glad to be here. All right, everyone. I'm if really you, excited. Great. Right? If yes. you see Miss Young walking around in the hallways, give her a high five. Tell her welcome to San Ann. Everybody, have a great Gopher day. Good morning, Gophers. Welcome back to San Antonio Elementary on this marvelous Monday morning. We are going to continue our discussion today about how to prevent bullying because this is October. And as I mentioned last week, this is National Bullying Prevention Month. So today we're gonna to take a little bit of time to talk about what bullying isn't. Last week we talked about what it is and we talked about those three characteristics of an event that can help you decide if it is in fact a bullying situation. Well, today we're gonna to compare and contrast bullying with some other things that kind of look like bullying. So there are a few other behaviors that we often see at school that can be confused with bullying. The first one is teasing. With teasing, usually multiple people are involved and sometimes even teasing can be considered fun. I know we've all teased each other. Usually it's in a gentle way and it's not intended to hurt anyone on purpose. Conflict, I know you guys have heard me say in your classrooms, is just a disagreement between two or more people. The biggest difference between conflict and bullying is that there's a solution to a problem which is based on that disagreement. So conflict is different from bullying because People aren't trying to hurt each other just to hurt each other. They're just having a disagreement that they can work through. Now, a mean moment is most often confused for bullying. But with a mean moment, the biggest difference is that it happens one time. Remember, we said that bullying has to be done repetitively. It happens regularly or often. But a mean moment is something that someone does to hurt someone on purpose one time. And usually it's in response or reaction to a strong feeling. So maybe somebody hurt their feelings or maybe they were having a rough morning. Okay, we all have mean moments, but that doesn't mean that we're all bullies. So those are some of the differences between teasing, conflict, mean moments, and bullying. We're gonna talk more about these and provide some specific examples later this week. So join me later this week when we will talk more specifically about those behaviors that often look like bullying at school and we will even play a little game to see if you guys can pick out which behavior um, I'm giving an example of later this week. All right guys continue to be bully free continue to use kind words and kind actions with each other as we continue to recognize anti-bullying month across America this month in October. Thanks see you later. <laughs>